All right, bracket the howl, bracket the owl shy, bracket the howl, bracket the owl shy, bracket the howl, bracket the owl shy. Call halal ya howl by shum ya owl shy by shum akakodash that will understand the apostles of great millstone for teaching and ruling one of the scriptures. And salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And, um, seems that Esau is, uh, you know, waking up to who we are. All right, he's waking up to this movement. Which is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha in these last days. All right. Which is the putting of the bones and flesh. <laughs> putting, upon, putting the flesh upon the dry bones, which it tells you about in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, which is the nation of Israel. Why do they call why are they called dry bones? It's because we have not known who we are. We didn't know that this this Bible pertains to us, that we are the people of the Lord. We are the children of Israel. Each to our respective tribes. The reason we're in this state is because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. In the ancient world that was given to us by Moses, we were those people that walked through the Red Sea. Our, our ancestors walked through the Red Sea with Moses. And when I say us, us, I'm speaking of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. Okay? Now I'm going to read a little bit of uh, Deuteronomy and I'm just going to give you a hint. All right, and as you can uh, picture as I read, you can see all right who these scriptures pertain to, man. If you look out onto the, look out into the world, you, you you see which people are in these states. You see which people have a, 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 a have a gift that are special but are poor. This is all history of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, this is Deuteronomy twenty-eight and one. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hear, hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And this is why we're in the positions that we're in, because we have uh, we disobeyed the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right, according, here, uh, according to Deuteronomy 28, the first chapter, we were to keep the law, statutes, and commandments so that we will be set on high above all nations of the earth. You can clearly see that's not us now, all right. And we wonder. We a lot of our people wonder why they're in this state, why they're the poorest, why they catch hell, why is it, why are the other nations prospering? Why are we not prospering? Because our people and our forefathers and our ancestors broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So you skip down to verse fourteen, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And this is what has hit our people, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, has cursed our people for not following the law, statutes, and commandments of these scriptures. Okay? Because this, this Bible really pertains to us. It's not for any other nation. And this is what we're trying to tell the world. Right, and the world doesn't want to hear it. the world saying that the Bible is for everybody. But clearly throughout the scriptures, it reiterates that this Bible is only for the nation of Israel and none else. It's real simple to understand. You nations just don't want us to be great. You don't want us to come out of our, our, our spiritual stupor. But that's why Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has sent men with the spirit all right, to prophesy against all the heathen nations and to wake up our people. All right. Tells you that in uh. It tells you that we have to go out into the highways and byways and cry aloud, spare not, lift up our voice like a trumpet and show our people their transgressions. And our people commit all kinds of transgressions, which is why they've been put under these curses. Okay, and this is what we're telling our people. This is what the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans in the dresses that you say we're wearing, which are our garments. All right. This is what we're proclaiming and telling the world the true message. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 16 Cursed shalt thou be in the city And cursed shalt thou be in the field Alright you can see this man Alright You got all kind. You got all of our people in the ghettos Okay you just go online and you See who comes up man Okay Images We're the people in the ghettos Okay in the worst parts of the cities. Alright. This is where the so called. The children of Israel will be in the last days. And the actual. Ghetto goes back to the word. Uh, it goes back to the dwelling place of the Jews. So if you go into all the ghettos. Alright. Across the, across the earth. Whether it be in America and other countries. 
you'll see so-called Negroes living in these ghettos, okay? And the so-called Negroes happen to be the real Jews, okay? All right, and that's in, we're cursed in the field. Deuteronomy 28 and 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. This is why we have no transgenerational wealth. We worked for free for Esau as a punishment. All right, who are the so-called white people? They are the nation of Edom. All right, so such thing as white or black people. That is a uh, play with words that the white man came up with to control the narrative on the earth. Verse 18, Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, when we're born. We're born into poverty. We're born into having nothing. We're born into oppression. We're born into discrimination. It's a curse. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. So it doesn't matter how rich you get as a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you're always going to be cursed. All right, you're always going to be demonized. You have to keep up that um, that Uncle Tom Coon spirit in order to be looked at in a good light. If not, it doesn't matter how rich you are, you still go go out with a bad name. For example, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, all these people, man. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. These are curses upon the Israelites of the Bible. This is who we are, okay? You can't deny our heritage, man. You even might, and you Edomites can't deny our heritage from us. People, period point blank okay if you go down and you scroll down these are all the 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 curses that we should be with that shall come upon us man and and you can look out into the world and see that we're under all these curses our people the so-called negroes latinos and native americans man and how do you know this because the lord told us okay let me get it it's in the same chapter to believe it's on the 40th yep deuteronomy 28 and 46 and they, what is the they? These curses. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. And that's why you see the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans right, in all the worst places of the earth, under the worst conditions, okay? We are the children of Israel by blood, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let me do this real quick. Give you some uh, visuals. <laughs> Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. That e that word Egypt means double straits. Okay. It means slavery. It means bondage. Okay. Let's go into that word. Okay. Egypt, Mithraim. The land of Mithraim was uh, a land of Hamites. So we know that that's not the real land. Egypt, all right, goes back to the word double straits because the Egyptians had us in double straits. So we're in another Egypt, all right? The new Egyptians are the so called white, me white people of the nation of Edom. Because why? They have us in double straits or bondage or slavery. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships By the way whereof I spake unto thee Thou shalt see it no more again See what no more again Our homeland and the land of Israel And there you shall be sold You shall be sold You should be sold Who are, Which people were sold in history? Well, you know you just gotta, you gotta ask yourself this man Based on secular history Who was sold? All right, who was sold on auction in blocks? Let's see. Slave auction. And this is all history. This is all... See, this is the, the, the worst thing about you so-called white people. Your, your, your sword shall fall upon yourself, man. <laughs> Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Now, in this picture, you can see there's people being sold. Who are those people? All right, the same people that came over here on ships into bondage. Okay, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you or redeem you, because of our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, 
coming in the power of his glory is going to save us. That's why you're seeing the UFOs. Those are the chariots of the Lord. Okay? The Lord is sent to be our redeemer, our savior. Okay? We are the children of Israel. All right, and then don't 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 let me um and it wasn't just the so-called Negroes. It was the Northern Kingdom as well. The Latinos. The so-called Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. They were actually the first ones over here. <laughs> to come over here on slave ships, man. Okay. Got the Latin tribes. The Indian tribes. And Native American tribes. All serve slavery. Okay? Slavery amongst the indigenous people of Americas. Okay? So you can see who's the, the you can see who's the devil that the Bible speaks of. You can see who's been the oppressed and you can see who the oppressor is. Okay? It's real simple. You get this. Come down real low. Because that's what our people came down to. That's why we don't know who we are. Let's see. I think it's very low. Deuteronomy 28. Um, let's see here. Bear with me one second. Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Period, point blank. We are the seed of the children of Israel. Okay? By prophecy, you can see that. Okay? This is uh, Jeremiah. Let's keep it real simple. This is Jeremiah 50 and 33. This is Jeremiah 50 and 33. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. They refused to let us go. We're coming out with the truth of who we are. They don't want us to be the Israelites so bad. They refuse to let us go. They want us to work for them forever. But this is the end of the so-called white man, and this is the beginning of Jacob that followed. This is why you see this truth coming out. All right? Just gave you clues and broke down to you who the children of Israel are. Alright? And where they will be in the last days. That's why you have the so-called Negroes oppressed with the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. Those are the children of Israel and the children of Judah and they are oppressed together. Alright? What did it say? It said in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter that no man shall buy you. And that word buy means redeem. But let's read here. Jeremiah 50 and 34 because we're coming into these times our Lord is being sent. Jeremiah 50 and 34, their redeemer, <laughs> no man shall buy you, but the Lord, our savior that came, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is coming to redeem us, their redeemer, their redeemer, all right, nobody else is their redeemer, who, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, their redeemer is strong, the Lord of hosts is his name, he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon and we know that we're in Babylon the Great and that's what's happening you would be you so-called Edomites you heathens two-thirds of our people all right you are being quieted okay you're being disquieted and why is that because this truth is coming to the forefront this truth is coming to light all right the world is finding out who the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans are thus saith the Lord thus saith the scriptures thus saith prophecy so, Lord willing, that was edifying. I don't want to make it too long. All right. We're, we're, we're at the end. All right. This devil doesn't know what to do. He's hurt. And our Savior is on his way while he squalors in his madness down here on the earth. 
Shalom, Yahweh, Shemel Shai, Shemel Kakudash, Barakatam, Ababa Ball.